Next game. Lions versus 49ers. The 49ers at a home. Are we doing analysis or are we doing picks? Let's do picks first and then we'll go analysis okay. for this one. I'm not saying it with my chest. Uh, you're saying Detroit, aren't you? No. I'm not saying it with my chest. Well, I'm I am. Niners. I'm going to take the 49ers. I said they were going to make the Super Bowl against the Chiefs a while ago when I started this. Oh, I yeah. still believe it. But gosh. Not confident? <laughs> I am not confident about the pick. <laughs> um, I feel... I. Even though I was only 65, 35 for the Chiefs Ravens, I'm less confident in the 49ers. I don't I don't like how Brock Purdy looked against Tampa. I feel like it's the Lions year a little bit. Um Brock I Purdy just, against Tampa. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how he looked against uh the Packers. Packers, there we go. So and <laughs> yeah. it makes me nervous. Yeah. But Jared Goff is not, play- <laughs> oh my God. not playing in a dome. And this is in a dome, Uh-oh. I would feel differently. <laughs> oh my God. So because Jared yeah, Goff that is awful not, Santa Clara weather. I, really. I would be sitting here saying that the Lions would win if they were on Ford Field <laughs> oh because of the, the, the dome effect. But Jared Goff is not in a dome. The 49ers are the better roster. I think they'll finally be able to exploit like the weak line secondary like other teams have not been able to. The Debo injury is such a key factor of this, and we just don't know if he's going to be able to play. Yeah. But I think he'll go out there because he's a dog. Yeah. And the 49ers are going to win by three points. Dang. And it's going to be a rematch Super Bowl from a couple of years ago. Raj, what are you looking at? I'm just trying to see where Jared Goff played before SoFi. Before SoFi? Before SoFi. There was, he was played in the um, Los Angeles well, he's from He's from Cal. Well, so I'm just yeah. trying to say when he was on the Rams. Well, that was the St. Louis Rams at that point. Still, they had but they run. moved to well, they 2016, they, and SoFi wasn't until 2020. Yeah, so he did play without a dome before in his career for yeah, a while. He, yeah, but he wasn't good. He wasn't that. Oh uh, wait, it was eh, the he only, did make a Super Bowl. Well, the, no, there was one game that he was amazing in, and that was the Chiefs 2018 <laughs> yeah. game, where that was literally the greatest play. That was the greatest. Wasn't that football. in Mexico? No, that was in the Coliseum. Oh, that's wait. why it was. Which that was, was the a, game in Mexico? That was there good. was a Mahomes versus Herbert. That game, one, think, yeah, in in, uh, in Mexico City. Um, but still, I'm not gonna buy into the whole like without the dome thing. No, I mean, Herbert wasn't there. That was still Philip Rivers. Yeah, I'm not buying into the whole like, oh, he's not in a dome, he won't be good thing. I mean, you're you're a professional and you've played in this environment before in your career. I think he's going to be okay without the dome. So what do you? I'm I'm thinking Lions win. I think Lions minus one and a half. Dang. Okay. I think what's going to happen is we saw what Jordan Love was able to do with their secondary. Mm-hmm. Um, against their secondary, you know, no Mufunga. Did I say that right? Mufunga. Yeah, Mufunga, yeah. yeah. Mufunga's not there. Um, I think don't they have a rookie back there at the linebackers? They do. Yeah. No, not at uh, safety. They do. At, yeah, because you saw the PIs he was giving up. Yeah, he was getting he was getting torched. And, by the way, I mean, yeah. Jaden Reed and them, they're all young, but the Lions have Among Us. They have Josh Reynolds, who's a solid vet at this point. Laporta, who, who Laporta too, and then Gibbs comes out of the backfield a ton. Yeah, yeah. Zach Ertz. <laughs> Zach yeah, Zach yeah. Ertz's corpse is out yeah. there too. Yeah, I not mean, his corpse, not his corpse. The 49ers defense, they cannot give up those PIs again because if they do, the Lions are going to take over yeah. because if you let up that deep ball, it's over. So you're taking Lions I minus think one and a half. It's going to be a close game, but I think the Lions are going to edge this out. They're going to what? You heard me. <laughs> you heard <laughs> me. What did he say? Do I sound like the NFL announcers yet? Oh, uh, not yet. They got to be a way more sus. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Raj, just a point to what you said. Yeah, I, don't, I think there's multiple units of the 49ers who aren't playing well right now. And that's yep. a concern. It's not like it's, oh, Brock Purdy's not playing well. It's like, I don't think the, I don't think either lines are playing good right now. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they've got some a little bit of injuries in the secondary, and Debo's injured. So <laughs> only consistent really is linebacker and yeah. running back, oh, Warner yeah, and CMC, and tight end. Tight end, yeah, those three. But um, okay, so I've actually I've been listening to, I've been doing some Joe research. Rogan? No, what? Where did that come from? <laughs> no. Ben Shapiro? <laughs> um, uh, well, if hypothetically we were to kiss underneath the bleachers. Um, then, so, hypoth- then hypothetically. <laughs> stop, okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, God damn it, my train of thought is gone. <laughs> You're doing a lot of research. I was, I was actually like listening to some, like, uh, some, I was listening to some different sports channels. I was doing some research because this was the game that was most interesting to me. And... I am taking the Lions. Okay. Because not only changing your pick. 
Yeah, I am. I'm taking the Lions because I think that the Lions run game is going to be the X factor in this game because if Aaron Jones was able to run all over him, I think Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery is a one-two punch is going to be able to do a lot with that. Um, I think that Laporta's kind of going to get shut down a little bit because just because of how good uh, Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner are, but I don't think they're going to keep up with Amonra. I don't think they're going to be able to keep up with like Reynolds and just the way that the Lions have been playing. You're gonna you're gonna say some stuff after I say this. They feel a lot like the 2007 Giants where they're not amazing. They're just winning games. Like they, w- uh, obviously that Giants team was ridiculous where they went and beat Aaron Rodgers, They beat Dallas, whatever. Yeah. But this just feels like a team of destiny. I okay. know it's, I know that's a lot. I don't know if they're going to win the Super Bowl. I don't think they would beat the Ravens personally, but I just, just the way that the momentum is going, they have so much building up. And with how rusty the 49ers looked, unless the 49ers can kick it into high gear and really just turn around everything in this game immediately, it has to be from play one. Yep. They need to be the they need to be the ones punching them in the mouth. They need to be the ones pushing the, the players off, getting in their face, dominating from the line of scrimmage. If they can't do that, they're screwed. Because uh, yeah. this Lions team fights. Yeah, for, the 49ers need to start with a lead. They have to start with a lead. If, yep. if you play from behind, I don't know if they can They're ever come one back. 30. Yeah, yeah, with, with, trailing by five in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I, yep. I just think, just the, it's it's not. I'm not saying the teams are similar. Just the feeling yep. of no, the I'm Giants. like yeah, like I, I said, I they could. I think the 49ers will win, but I'm not saying it with like a ton of confidence. I got. I got Jared Goff. Yeah. And I it's either going to be Justin's going 0-2 or 2-0. and oh, no. I was going to say, <laughs> all of us. Yeah. Hail Mary. Well, no, no. We could go 1-1-2. One one yeah. I think the more fun scenario for the podcast is that one, either you two are 0-2, yeah. and I'm 2-0, and or I'm 0-2, and, and you're 2-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going 1-1. One one. One. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, exactly. Um, it'll be an exciting week of football. I think we have two great games lined These up. It's going to be awesome.